If you have a standard equation relating y and x, turning it into a polar equation is quite straightforward, although the polar equation you get might not be easy to work with. The equalities you want to use here are that x equals the radius times the cosine of the angle and y equals the radius times the sine of the angle. So if you have, for example, y equals x squared plus x plus one, and you decided for whatever reason that you would rather see this in the polar coordinates, It's just a matter of sticking y and x into their appropriate places. r times the sine of theta equals r squared times the cosine squared of theta plus r times the cosine of theta plus one. Of course, why you would want to do that is another question. You see our usually reliable desmos.com can't make heads or tails of this ugly looking equation. Wolfram Alpha fares a little better. If we enter this into Wolfram Alpha, it at least successfully generates a graph of the thing, and it is a parabola, just as it should be, we might expect to have better luck with something like this. This is the equation of a circle, and in polar coordinates, circles are pretty basic things. I mean, the equation r equals k corresponds to a circle of radius k centered around the origin. So if we plug in x and plug in y here, we might expect something a little better than what we got up here. It doesn't look better yet, but let's try foiling this out. Some cancellation occurs. You see this nine and this nine. We can subtract nine from both sides. And more significantly, r squared 
times the cosine squared plus the sine squared. The cosine squared plus the sine squared is one using the Pythagorean identity. So we just have R squared minus six R times the sine of theta equals zero. We can do better still. We've got an R squared and an R. If we pull an R out, we get to this. And then the zero product property says that either R equals zero, well, that's just the origin, a single point, or R minus six, X times the sine of theta equals zero. And this has simplified into a legitimately simple equation. So up here, we could convert to pull their coordinates, but it's probably not a good idea. Down here, we might find this genuinely easier to work with than this original equation.